Hi, Aeon. Rough idea of the summoner build in action. Uh, so soul shield break cost is pretty uh, invested, as well as because your build was so close to having the infinite Lightbringer spam, uh, I went ahead and grabbed uh, Void Knight 400%, well, 600% uh, to make that happen. Uh, now, the 600% is for the haste. Uh, the lunatic attack speed also for the haste, but very scary because uh, we can't recover break gauge naturally. But we do have Evoker 600%, so that every time you successfully soul shield, you get some break gauge back. Uh, also, runic protection in case we miss a soul shield. Uh, so kind of backing off the boss a bit here and just kind of showing that soul shield for a moment. Uh, but also taking advantage of that Dimension Bringer because um, your setup was really close to t uh, being able to just almost spam it. So uh, we'll, we'll look at the job affinities afterwards. Uh, now, if I don't have Runic Protection on, I probably... Uh, two to three hits will take me out still. Um, I do have some damage taken at max HP so that the first hit is not as painful, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of look at it back, uh, afterwards. So uh, the other thing I do have is I have uh, critical HP recovery, just a sprinkle, so that if I attack from behind, I get some HP back because I do have damage taken at max HP and I want to be able to, uh, the, the piercing lunge, uh, just for good times. Um, damage taken at max HP to help that runic protection survive a bit longer because I'm not going to be investing in HP and I don't have improved effect runic protection to make it even sturdier. So for now, uh, it's it's the damage taken at max HP and the stamina and spirit that are trying to keep it alive. Uh, but looking for the battle settings, and this might go kind of quickly, is um, the Void Knight 600% for the haste, 400% to keep the cost of Dimension Bringer and buff down, and then the 120% uh, to increase the MP limit boost rate when you soul shield. Evoker 600% to refill the break gauge on a successful soul shield. And then as a side effect, we're getting the uh, clear mind to recover uh, MP while we're at full HP. And then the Evoker 120% part of the Lightbringer spam setup. And then uh, you have the Cyclic Warrior 600%. So every time you do uh, a Lightbringer or a Dimension Bringer, you also trigger the Soul Shield that builds the max MP. And then you have the Cyclic Warrior 250% so that you can stay in that Summoner form in case there's a lull in incoming Soul Shields or Soul Shields. Um, and then uh, the Summoner 400% is coming from Master Points so that you refresh buff durations with each successful soul shield and then also the 250% to keep the MP and max MP costs down as you're in the summoner form. Uh, now to help runic protection out even more we have hunter 400% uh, since you had hunter already on one piece of gear I slapped it on another to get a flat amount of MP going with every hit and in this case Exaflare hitting up almost 25 times, uh, that helps as well. And then uh, the Assassin 120% is there to reduce the Soul Shield Break cost uh, and help that lifestyle a little bit more, especially as Soul Shield Break trials start to appear, if if you uh, go to a place that starts having those trials. Um, now, kind of just looking across the gear, uh, this is still taking advantage of the stymied gear, stimmied gear, where right now I slap together just whatever I had. But if I had Remu for intellect, that would have been nice. Uh, or just Leviathan or Bahamut for a balance of stats so that nothing is too overpowered. Uh, also, across each piece of gear is going to be intellect offensively. But scale that back if you do want sort of a longer fight uh, just uh, by choice. And then damage taken at max HP to help out with rune protection a little bit. And then also soul shield break cost to really help out that lifestyle. Uh, the Lightbringer duration, stamina, and the spirit are there just to kind of 
uh, light bringer duration to help the bubble last longer when we have enough social stacks, and then the stamina spirit for now, because uh, I don't want to completely glass cannon the build. But um, as you go further, you can probably afford to do that uh, without those stats. Uh, and if I could, I'd have damage dealt summon at the top, as well as uh, damage dealt sword combo ability or MP cost sword combo ability, so that even while you're in summoner form, uh, that your combo abilities don't uh, do more damage, take less MP. And then when you're outside, your piercing lungs and knight's gambit uh, don't take as much. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, there's my critical HP recovery on the coral whisker. Um, and then for the actual primary blessing, we're using Leviathan to increase MP recovery and max MP gained uh, whenever you do that successful soul shield. Um, so I, I saw that you had that on your gear. I threw in Piercing Lunge for now, and then I forgot to switch over to Knight's Gambit. Uh, the Rune of Protection for protection. Uh, the Flea Command's optional. Lunatic for the attack speed, but you can't recover Break Gauge naturally. So that's why I took away Teleport, because I, I thought, well, if we could stay in their face, we, we will. But we can also Soul Shield our way back to full... Uh, full break gauge or even dimension bringer worst case to recover that break gauge uh, for the master points uh, going to the most important one light bringer spam setup increase MP limit boost rate getting that up there so that the soul shield recovers more max MP and then because we're doing the soul shield lifestyle soul shield break cost is invested but also uh, light bringer duration so that you don't have to switch out of the summoner and you get a bubble that lasts longer and then um, I invested in the summoner 400% with the master points just to free up some space on the gear and then intellect to make that exa flare hit even harder and then also recover more MP on a normal attack and then for now stamina and spirit to help that runic protection out uh, be a little sturdier but yeah I hope that helps <laughs>